Hi, I'm Paula Vigamadam, cardiologist with Novant Heart and Vascular in Winston-Salem. So unfortunately, we found that in Hispanic neighborhoods, people are less likely to get CPR than in non-Hispanic neighborhoods. Uh, we are trying to combat that with classes that are uh, for Spanish-speaking um, people. And you know, it, if you if you are Spanish-speaking or if you know someone that's Spanish-speaking, definitely keep a lookout for that. Um, we're also trying to you know do more with churches where we think that people will be more receptive to um, learning about CPR and um, really just getting more education out there. Women, are, unfortunately, are also less likely to get CPR. I think we still think of a, a male having a sudden heart attack, and so sometimes people just don't think about it with women. Um, and then it's just, you know, a little different anatomy, so people get a little nervous. Um, and actually now the more recent CPR classes are, are trying to do uh, dummies that actually look like women rather than uh, men, and I think that will make a difference too. So if someone is choking, um, the first thing is how responsive are they? So if they're uh, making some sounds, if they're able to communicate with you that they're choking, encourage them to cough. That's the best way to dislodge whatever is stuck there. Um, and if they're not responding to you, then really you should for, uh, perform the Heimlich maneuver. Um, so take a fist kind of under their, um, in the middle of their abdomen, above their navel. Um, take your other fist and just kind of make upward thrusts to try to get to expel whatever's um, stuck in their throat. If in the, in the middle of that, they completely stop responding and they're not breathing or you don't feel a pulse, then yes, you should go ahead and start CPR. So can you get sued or get in trouble for uh, injuring someone while helping them uh, with CPR? So this is state to state dependent, but most states have a good Samaritan law that says that um, you know you can't be held liable for trying to help somebody. So how do you do CPR? Uh, of course, a formal class always helps, um, but basically you want to take um, two of your fingers, place it at the tip of the breastbone, um, and then put your other hand right above it. Um, the heel of your hand, then put the other hand on top, and then push hard and fast um, to a, a rate of about 100 to 120 beats per minute, or you can sing the song Staying Alive to help you keep beats. 